Ladies and gentlemen, new patch is going to hit in just a couple of days. In fact, by the time you're watching this video, the patch might already be live if we survive the uh, trolling eight hour maintenance that Blizzard is giving us. And with that patch, we are going to get a couple of new talents for the Restoration Shaman Tree. So in this video, I'm going to go over them very quickly and I'm going to propose some builds that you can be running for both uh, Mythic Plus and Raid. What you're seeing on the screen right now is the build that I am using for Mythic Plus currently. And the first thing to note here is that I am not using Ancestral Vigor because I am not running 13s or 14s yet. So I don't find it very useful to have this talent. Instead, that point is invested in deeply rooted elements, which I don't like. I don't like having a random proc when you press uh, your Riptides, but I think I get more value into the 10, 11, 12 keys that I'm currently doing compared to Ancestral Vigor. At some point, though, uh, you will have to switch this uh, because Ancestral Vigor is going to bring you more value there. The other thing to note is that I'm running Torrent, which uh, I kind of like because we're casting Riptides a lot. So having that initial heal be much more uh, beefy and crit for more, it's a very good thing to have. Now, let's look into the new talents first. The first one is down here, just above high tide. It's called Coalescing Quarter, and it reduces the chain heal mana cost by 10%. Mind you that the notes are saying 15%, but the tooltip is saying 10%. So it's interesting to see which is going to be the final value. And then there's an extra effect. The chain heal increases the initial healing of your next trip type by 75% and it's stacking two times, which means that you can get a beefy 150% riptide after you cast two chain heals. Now, the important part to note here is that the only way to get this talent is if you get Tidebringer first. This is going to be amazing for Raid because in Raid you are running Tidebringer and you are casting Chain Heal, so that is going to be a must-have talent in Raid. However, in Mythic Plus, as you can see, I'm not running Tidebringer because I am using my Totems to cast the Chain Heals. And while you're getting the Coalescing Water buff from your lively Totems, every time you cast, let's say, Healing Stream Totem, you're going to get this buff, you are very rare rarely casting, hard casting the chain heals, which is why you don't run the Tidebringer. That means that in order to get this talent, you actually need two points in Mythic Plus. So that's something to keep in mind. It's not like a new cheap talent for one point that you get easily in that environment. Let's look into the other talent first. Uh, it's called Reactive Warding, and it's not a new talent, but it has a new addition. At the bottom there, you see that Earth Shield and Water Shield can now consume charges uh, one second faster, which means that instead of every three seconds, they're now consuming charges every two seconds. Now, mind you, it's not exactly how it works, but it's basically 50% faster consumption, which is going to increase the amount of healing that urge you does significantly, but the rest is uh, actually insignificant. So the healing that you get from refreshing the Earth Shield is not that big at first place. And then there are many situations where you are refreshing Earth Shield in between pools. So you're not getting value from that talent. And then if the charges drop completely and then you refresh it, you're also not getting value. So the reactive healing from this talent is not very good. But having the Earth Shield being consumed faster, that means that you have to recast it more. But it's also going to do a lot more healing. Now, uh, when we talk about numbers, the uh, Earth Shield is doing a quite significant amount of healing in my um, man plus runs. It's anywhere between like 6 to even 10% in some runs, while it's much less in raid. So this is going to be more value for a uh, mythic plus for sure. And also in raid, you are usually not picking Earth and Harmony, so there would be no way to get easily to the reactive warding. Uh, it's not going to be insignificant in rate, but it's going to be a bigger boost in uh, Mythic Plus compared to rate. And obviously, in order to get these new uh, goodies, you will have to drop some points. And the best candidate is the Ancestral Awakening. Now, I kind of hate this because in Mythic Plus, the Ancestral Awakening is doing anywhere between 4 to 7% of my healing, which is not bad. Obviously, that value is not that big in rate and you're not running that there, but there is something that needs to give in order for us to get the new talents. So uh, what is the run and what are the builds that I'm going to propose? Well, uh, I'm first going to get rid of deeply rooted elements and then I'm going to get rid of these two talents in Ancestral Awakening. 
we have to get Tidebringer, as we talked about, and then we're going to get the new Coalescing Water, and of course we have to get High Tide, which is a must-have uh, if you're running Chain Heal build, and then the other point can be in Reactive Warding. So this is going to be a pretty nice build that you can run for uh, Mythic Plus Keys. We lost the Ancestral Awakening, which is bad, but hopefully we're going to get much more value out of this. And now we don't have this flexible point that I was running in Deeply Rooted Elements that we can put into uh, Ancestral Vigor. So if you want to run this, eventually you might have to drop something like Torrent, but your Riptides are going to have a fallback mechanism to be hitting harder and for more using the new uh, Coalescing War Talent. So that's probably going to be the option to drop when you need to get Ancestral Viger if you get to those high keys because if you're not running very high keys uh, I don't think you're going getting much value from the Ancestral Viger talent anyway. So at the end of the day uh, I kind of feel like in Mythic Plus you're kind of wasting this uh, point to get to the Coalescing Water and it might be the case that you are getting more value from the Ancestral Awakening just having those two points over here and having your totems cast the chain heals, but you're going to be losing on the fat, fat uh, Riptides if you run it this way. And then Mythic Plus, I think uh, you're going to get much more value out of this talent compared to Deeply Rooted Elements. Uh, so this is going to be a must-have compared uh, to before. In raid, it's the other way around. Uh, these two will become a must-have, and you always have to take them and run them, while this one is probably not going to be useful, in, especially considering that you're not running Earth and Harmony and you're taking things like uh, Earth and Wall Totem and Mana Tide, etc. Uh, those two points are not even going to be here, uh, so you don't have to worry about this in raid. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The way I see it, uh, we are getting some positive changes into the right direction. They're not major, they're not gameplay changing, but they're quite nice. Quality of life improvements and maybe a little bit more healing, both in Metic Plus uh, and Rate. Keep an eye on the channel as I'll have more updates once those are live and we actually get to play them in a little bit in Rate and uh, Metic Plus. Uh, I'll give you my thoughts on that as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Now, get out of here.